Hey, good morning everybody. Here we are on Thursday morning. We get another dose of God's Word to get our day kicked off right. Hey, I want to put before us a really challenging uh, question uh, before us this morning. Um, when Jesus was being tried, um, he was before Pilate, and uh, as the custom was, they were going to re the, Pilate was going to release a prisoner for, the, for them. Uh, so Jesus is put forth and Barabbas is put forth. And I want to put before us a really probing question uh, before us this morning uh, for us to consider our spiritual and our religious beliefs and convictions. I want to put before us this. Who would we choose? Or maybe yet, who do we choose? And in, in spiritual things, let's read a couple of verses here in Matthew the twenty seventh chapter. Um, here Jesus is before uh, Pilate, and all this is beginning to unfold. He says in verse twenty, he says, "But the chief priests and elders persuaded the multitudes that they should ask for Barabbas and destroy Jesus." The governor answered and said to them, "Which of the two do you want me to release to you?" They said, "Barabbas." Pilate said to them, What then shall I do with Jesus, who is called Christ? They all said to him, Let him be crucified. Then the governor said, Why? What evil has he done? But they cried out all the more, saying, Let him be crucified. Now, why were they wanting Jesus dead? The, the religious leaders, the seminary class of our day, why were they wanting Jesus dead? because he was not allowing them to continue in their false teaching, in their false doctrine, in their misapplication, in their hypocrisy um, of, of their lives. And so they wanted to continue to live and doing the things that they wanted to, but Jesus kept telling them throughout his ministry, y'all are wrong. You haven't read. You don't understand this. You've got the paperwork. You've got the degrees. You've got all. You've got the position, but you don't understand what it's talking about. And so, over the course of three years, and within that three years, they were continually trying to find a way to get rid of him. They'd lie about him. They'd try to turn the people against him. Said, "Oh, he's in cahoots with Beelzebub," and all of these types of things. So here we have, and this is what I want us to really consider. When you study your Bible, maybe you get in a, a, a conversation with someone, or maybe you hear a sermon preached, you know, from somewhere that, that maybe you don't attend to, and man, it really makes you mad, and, and that's not a bad thing, and, but maybe it gets, uh, but maybe it, it's an anger, maybe it's a frustration that is undue, uh, because maybe we don't really want to hear the truth. Maybe we just want to hear what we believe. I'm it'd be like this. I'm only going to read books that that uh, of people that uh, are writing about what I believe, or I'm only going to listen uh, to people preach that go that believes the same thing I do, or I'm only going to visit another church that that believes the same thing I do. And so. Instead of the truth, instead of exposing ourselves to the truth, we only stick with uh, what we want to be true. And so here we are, you know, we find, may find ourselves at those crossroads as well. Who do we choose? Who would we choose? Would we choose Barabbas or would we choose Christ that has the truth? We, we may always say, oh, well, I'm going to choose Jesus. But stop and think about it. Do we get upset when someone says something that goes against what I believe? Do I get angry? Do I feel like I've had my toes stepped on because someone will not agree with, with my conclusion? Now, here, now here's the point. At that moment, would we not be choosing Barabbas? instead of choosing Christ? Pretty challenging, pretty probing thought, isn't it? Who do we choose in religious matters? Do we choose the one that's not going to cause us any discomfort? 
That would be Barabbas. But, all right, Barabbas is released. He's not going to cause the high priest any more trouble. Not going to hear another word about how wrong they are, the sins that they are in, or their hypocrisy. They're not going to hear any of that. They're just going to be able to continue to ride on the what the, the rails that they are. But Christ, on the other hand, they're thinking, well, well it, we, it, he's just going to keep telling us something we don't believe. But yet Jesus has the truth. Pretty challenging, isn't it? Who do we choose when we come to those crossroads? Who do we choose? I'm afraid that more often than not, we are choosing the spiritual Barabbas and instead of the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's pretty challenging, isn't it? You know, we, we would probably never say, oh no, I would never literally choose Barabbas if I was in the crowd that day. Well, here these religious leaders they were able to persuade the multitudes. Verse 20, the chief priests and elders persuaded the multitudes that they should ask for Barabbas. It's, saying, it's the same principle today. The religious leaders persuade the multitudes to listen to what they're saying instead of possibly a, a, a church over here that's actually preaching what the Bible says, not a version of what the Bible says, not a type of what the Bible says, but just exactly what the Bible says. Who do we choose? Do we choose or do we choose Barabbas, or do we choose Christ? Pretty challenging thought. I'm going to leave you with that this morning. And there's your dose of God's word. Let us let us never choose the Barabbas in spiritual things. The easy way, the road that's not going to cause me any discomfort. But let us always choose Jesus, the truth, even if it goes in direct contradiction of what I have been led to believe, what I feel, or what I've been taught. Because the words of Jesus will always be and are always the truth. There's your dose of God's word today. And I hope it'll get your wheels turning. And Lord willing, we'll get back tomorrow and get us another dose of God's word. So we'll hope you have a great day and Lord willing, we will see you then.